already in the semifinals of the playoffs. Take a look at some of the highlights in the first half of the game. First and big mistake for Matsumura on his last playing a hit. Did not bump it out of the rings far enough and left uh, Team Adin with a hit for three. You cannot afford to give the two-time reigning world champions extra points. That was a good start for Sweden. Bad start for Team Japan. And this was probably Japan's best end here in the in the first half. Really made a nice freeze. Two great shots from Matsumura to cut down the scoring area, but it was always looking like a couple of points for Team Sweden. And Nick Adin makes no mistake with a difficult draw for two. And number four, all Sweden again. Beautiful hit and roll from Nick Adin. This double we, we looked at looked pretty flat, but uh, end up over curling but made contact, so that certainly was there. Just had to keep that just a little bit straighter, but ends up being another steal of one. 6-1 at this point. And now the hit and stay. They looked at every possible yes, yes, option yes, to try yes. to get more than one. Decide, nope, yes, we've got a hit for one. Yes, Does yes. not get out to the broom. They yes. pound this thing from end to end, but cannot hold it. And another point, 7-1 now. Team Sweden. After three ends of play, after a couple of steals, Matsumura on his last stone here in six, trying to draw the button. Down 7 1 at this point. Made it beautifully, but uh, Team Sweden, two time defending world champions, just too much on this day for the Japanese champions. Wish, uh, wish them well into the playoffs and shake hands. Impressive performance from Team Sweden as they get ready for the semifinals. Well, Nick, really good game. Um, going into this one, you've already got a spot in the playoffs. So I'd like to hear from your point of view, what would your team's goals be today to prepare yourself going forward into the playoffs? Yeah, I don't think uh, we've peaked yet. Uh, we've uh, got a lot of wins on the board, which was uh, the main thing in round robin, obviously. But I think we still have yet to peak, find our, our best games uh, to play. And hopefully we can do that in the semifinals and finals uh, if we make it there. And I think that was what we tried to do uh, in this game as well. Just find the same kind of uh, communication out there was the key, I think. And, uh, and just be really focused on, on our shots. Yeah, it's kind of an unusual year. You know, you're a team that generally plays a lot of games. But here you are in a world championship, haven't played much this year. So I'd like to get into your mind a little bit on, on how to build, I guess, quicker than usual. Exactly, yeah. I think it's a lot of uh, mental pre preparation. Uh, I think we normally do that too, but I think it's just uh, magnified this year. We haven't played much since uh, October uh, as a team. so. Uh, tried to try to uh, do more communication stuff in practice as well, but it's not the same obviously But I think that has helped us a bit and then uh, just when we got here Just really tried to uh, turn on quickly and even from uh, the first few games Just try and really talk through what we can improve between every game. Well, I think you've done that and Congratulations on a great round robin the game today and good luck going forward into the semifinals. Thank you so much Kevin hey, Thanks man.